How do I know if a spirit is trying to contact me? You are an energetic being and you have the ability to easily communicate with spirits. In this video, we're going to dive into the three signs that a spirit is trying to communicate with you and how you can communicate back with them any time of the day. I'm all about empowering you to speak with your loved ones so you can speak to them whenever you want and without the filter of someone else trying to decipher the message. After all, you will understand exactly what your loved one is saying to you. Hi, I'm Lisa. I'm a spiritual medium, and I've been able to see and communicate with spirits since I was a child. And if you're wondering if a spirit is trying to communicate with you, this is the video for you. So what are the three signs that a spirit is trying to communicate with you? The first one, you will feel them. Literally, you will feel their presence, like they are in the room with you. Now, how they show up, that can be a whole different ballpark, right? So you may see a light. It may be like a soft yellow light. It may be a white light. It, it's just maybe a light and you can't describe it, but you're going to feel warm by that light. You'll feel comforted by the light. I've had many people just see a light. You may also just see their face. It's almost like they don't have a body. You'll just see their face. And when I say you're gonna see their face, it may be a face from their teenage years, if that's what they wanna show you. If like it's your partner, they may show you the face of how they looked you know, before they got really sick and died or if they were still healthy when they died. It may, it may be a face that you recently recognize. You may see their whole entire body. And again, they may determine what that body age is that they're showing you, but you may see a whole body and you may just see some form of them from your memories and you may just feel a presence. Like you may just know that they're there, but you don't see any of the other things that I mentioned. That's okay. All you want to do is know that you are connecting with them. However, they're energetically showing up for you. There is no right or wrong way. That's why I just gave you a whole bunch of choices. When my uncle died on the 4th of July, I kept seeing him all day long. We didn't know yet that he had died on the 4th of July. We didn't find out until the 5th of July. But all day long on the 4th of July, I kept seeing him and thinking about him and remembering all the things that we did together. So that was his way of connecting with me and letting me know he was okay. I also had a friend cross over and she literally filled my living room with her head. It was this big head laughing and smiling because she had not been laughing and smiling and it filled my room during a session that I was having with a client. So know that they're also going to be breaking free of the conditioning that they had in this life and they may show that to you, especially if they were very religious. I have a lot of clients that are very religious, their family comes around and they're like, I'm free, like I'm free, like, you know. So whatever conditioning we've had in this life, whatever felt like it was locking us in, when we cross over, we're energetically freed from that. So don't be surprised to hear that from them. And while you're connecting with them, know this, they change. This is a process that frees them and they're going to change just like you're changing. They're not frozen in time. So feeling a spirit is not something everyone can do right away, but you do have the ability to feel them. So know that. And the second thing is a, there is a second way that is a sign is that you're going to see things that remind you of them. So typically if you can't feel them, you're going to look for things that remind you of them. I think the most popular thing that people see are dimes, not pennies or nickels or quarters, but dimes. Dimes are super popular. A lot of people see dimes. Another thing that's popular is butterflies. People will see different colors of butterflies for different things. I just talked to someone yesterday who sees a white butterfly when she's in a good mood and she reminds herself of her mother. If she sees a yellow butterfly, she feels like it's her mother's way of letting her know you're not in a good space, clear your energy. So she likes to see those butterflies and then she feels very connected to her mother. I've had people connect with feathers, right? You can see feathers when you're walking or it can be blown into your space and you're like, oh, here's this person, I see the feather. Some people will see certain types of flowers and feel a connection to someone who has crossed over. Hummingbirds are also very popular. And really, I mean, I'm listing the things that are the most popular things I've heard through the years, 
but it's really whatever works for you and whatever makes you feel connected to them. It's, it's an energetic connection between you and them. No one else has that, so there is no right or wrong. If you think of them when you see something that reminds you of them, that's an easy way for them to let you know they're okay. And then the third sign, they appear in your dreams. This is your biggest sign that they're trying to communicate with you and you're not able to hear them. It's why I save this one for last. In your sleep, you are more open. So just like when you have a fight with somebody from your childhood and you hold on to that, but then you have a dream about them and then you feel better about it, it's the same thing with spirits. You're able to connect with them at a point where you're more relaxed, you're more calm, you're not holding on to your human stuff, and you're like, oh, I see you, right? So people that don't believe they can communicate with spirits often see them in their sleep. So my grandma could not see my uncle in her sleep when he first crossed over until after my mom told her that I could. And then my grandma wanted to know in detail what I was seeing, and then she was able to see him on her back porch, and she was finally able to have peace. So you may have memories in your dreams with them. You may have new experiences. This is them trying to connect with you and tell you that they're okay. Don't get too stuck in the message. Instead, recognize that they're trying to connect with you and you want to make that space for them to be able to connect with you. Because if you feel like someone is trying to communicate with you, they are. Your loved ones want you to know that they're okay and that they are okay that used to be my number one asked question, and I haven't talked with the spirit yet, no matter how they died, that wasn't okay. So even if it seemed to you a very brutal death, they are okay. So now that you know a spirit is trying to com com communicate with you, what do you do? You communicate back with them. I recommend you watch a video I did on this, how to talk to spirits and connect with deceased loved ones. You can communicate with your loved ones as often as you'd like. You have the ability to do it, and you don't have to hire anyone to be your middle person. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when each of my new videos drops. I would love to hear your biggest takeaway on this video and who has been trying to communicate with you. Please share it below, and if you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like it. Happy connecting.